you can see by the title, I will be building a fireplace TV stand. And this took me almost two days to actually build, but I got it into almost 40 minutes. So um, I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so our first step is just putting in dowels and screwing in the side locking mechanisms into part A and B. Step two is just the same thing as step one, just on the other side.
step three is just more screws and but this time it's going into the eye plank Step four is putting in the locking devices into the holes. And this is the most important step because later on at step like 10 and 11, these come, I should have placed them all upward with the arrow pointing up. So it made it difficult later on. Step five is to slide the screws into the locking mechanism. I actually forgot that there was two eye planks, so I am screwing in the other part and then I'm gonna lock them in. Step six is just like A and B boards. I just put in the locking mechanisms and the dowels and
So step seven has a lot of pieces, dowels, locking mechanisms, and I'm also screwing in a long plank and two it's So step eight is where I'm actually screwing in the, I guess I would call it the right corner into the plank in the F board. So I lost the footage for step nine, but basically I was just um, combining C and D and F. And step 10 is just combining A, B, C, D, and F together. Like I said earlier, um, I think it, this is about step 11. I mean, this is about step 10 and 11, and the locking mechanisms were giving me trouble. And it's gonna show up again at step 11 because they are not facing upward.
so here we are at step 11 and we're going to be screwing in all the screws that will connect with the locking mechanisms. And here is step 12 where I am supposed to put the screws into the locking mechanism, turn them, and they should lock the boards together. Um, and this took me like an hour because I kept having to unscrew them, put them back in just for them to fully latch on because my TV is going on this and I do not want it to break apart and fall.
And step 13 is like the earlier step, taking um, J plank and putting the right corner uh, piece on it and screw it in. Now step 14 is actually taking the J plank and using the locking mechanism and screwing them in. And here I'm just making sure everything is tightened per the instructions to tighten it at the end because we are coming up on our last steps. And my favorite step, step 15, hammering in the backboards. Now, I will bring the camera closer so you can see what I'm doing, but I don't, I do have a hang hammer. I just did not feel like going to get it, so I used the screwdriver. Yeah. So here's a closer look. I am using the bottom of the screwdriver to get it in and then using the whole handle to actually knock it all the way in. And it is secure, it did not split the wood. And yeah, I didn't hurt myself.
Here I'm just showing off my uh, plastic knife where there's no blade and it's made out of plastic but this part is the fireplace part the fireplace insert part and uh, it was I didn't have to put the fireplace together I just had to screw it in. So here we are at step 16 and it's just to slide the fireplace in and to use, screw the screws into the ridges. I had to turn my phone off because I needed the light to actually see the ridges and screw it in. But yes, so simple. Step 17 is to take this, um, I don't know, bracket and screw it into the bottom, not the actual fireplace to keep the fireplace from pushing backwards. And step 18 is just to put the dowels in for the shelving. Okay, so now that the whole thing is put together, I'm just gonna move my TV, sweep a little, clean up, and dust everything off, and put everything in its place.
I almost forgot to show the final product and with it on, this is just a video I just took while editing this video. And of course we have to clean up a mess. There are plenty more videos to come on me upgrading my apartment and decorating. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you for watching. Thank you.